Now I'd like to show you how this automaton works. And the definition says that the automaton uh, simulates the leftmost derivation from the grammar. So first I'd like to show you the leftmost derivation of a word. For example, let's take the longer word so that more interesting things happen. Let the word be A, B, A, A, B, C. And in a leftmost derivation, we always have to start with the start symbol. Then we take the first rule and exchange the start symbol by ABC. Or let me put this to a separate line. S is uh, exchanged by ABC. Now in a leftmost derivation, we have to take from the string the non-terminal that's the leftmost non-terminal. So in this case it's B because it's left from the capital C and we don't have any other. So uh, uh, next I have to exchange B and I have to take this rule because there's no other rule. So I exchange the non-terminal B by a terminal B. And now to get the longer word I have to exchange C by this rule that gives me more opportunities. So I have to exchange C by AC. or by AS, sorry. Now I have to take this rule again. I exchange S by ABC. A, B, C. Now again we have two non-terminals in the string and I have to take the leftmost non-terminal which is B. So I exchange the non-terminal B by a terminal B, because that's what the rule tells me. And now I have to exchange those uh, capital C or those non-terminal C by a terminal C. And now I got the words that I wanted to derive from the grammar. So. Next, I show you how the automaton does the same. And on the automaton, we have any word that is left to read. We have we have a stack with some symbols on it, and we are in any state. So that's my table. So, um, so now um, the definition told me that uh, um, the first symbol on the stack when the automaton starts is the start symbol from the grammar, so it will be the S. And the state, we in this automaton there's only one state which is named Q, so we won't you won't do a transition into any other state, so it will always be Q where we are in until the end. We will always be in Q. And at the beginning we have the, f the full word left to read. Now we want to take transitions from the automaton. And we want to read the, the terminals from the word. Begin in, uh, we begin on the left side. So the first symbol we want to read is the A. And we have two transitions with A. So we have this transition and that transition. But that transition needs this uh, needs a C to be on top of the stack. But we don't have one. We have just the S on the stack. So we have to take the first transition where we consume those A. We read those or we pop those S from the stack and we push B and C on it. Now the next transition we want we have to take is Z because we want to read a terminal B and we want to consume, consume we want to pop those B from the stack. 
So that's, that bee is consumed. And the bee is popped. Now we have to take another transition. And we, um, well, we can just take that one where we consume the next A. And we have to pop those C from the stack and push those S. And the next transition we can take is again this one where we consume the next A. And we pop the S and push BC. And the next transition is that one where we consume B and pop B from the stack. So that B is consumed and that B is popped and just disappears. And the last transition we want to take is so uh, we want to read those C and pop the C from the stack and we, um, we won't push anything back. So here the empty string is left and here the empty string on the stack is left. So the word is accepted because we read the whole input string and the stack is empty. And if you compare the leftmost derivation with the, with the table or with the work of the automaton, you see that um, the non-terminals that are left in the derivation are always the same as are left on the stack. And we, um, in the derivation, we always take the leftmost symbol, and that's the one that's always, in that case, is on top of the stack and is the next to be processed. So here you can see that the, that the automaton indeed simulates the leftmost derivation that's done by the grammar.